All right, what is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lions Den, back with another uh, video in our series of strongman specific training for certain muscle groups. So in this one, we're gonna talk about shoulders. And man, shoulders when it comes to strongman are super, super important. I would say it's gonna be shoulders uh, and back strength and deadlift are like the key components. So we wanna really make sure that we're covering the shoulders in this video and getting right to it. So when it comes to the first exercise before we get to that exercise everybody should be pressing everybody your grandma should be pressing your dog should be pressing if you don't like dogs and you like cats more please get off the channel uh, but we just want to get that out of the way press 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 now that's taken care of exercise number one is going to be overhead carries all right especially in strongman uh, specifically for this year's nationals there's actually an overhead uh, odd object press. So it's gonna go sandbag, keg, sandbag uh, for time. So something that's gonna help you is being able to hold those objects overhead and stabilize those objects. So if you don't have those implements, you guys can just basically carry a plate over your head. Uh, but if you do have a sandbag, sandbag overhead. If you have a keg, keg overhead. Uh, if you have kettlebells, kettlebells, dumbbells, even a barbell overhead. Okay, so just getting uh, used to having an object over your head uh, and working those muscles is really gonna help strengthen the shoulders and transition over to straw man specifically. Okay guys, exercise number two is going to be the Zajunas press. I'm trying to talk like Zajunas in his most excited form. It's actually really not the Zajunas press, but we call it that. It's really the Z press and he just got famous for it. So that is all. All right, but for real guys, this is Junius Press. Uh, the reason that I like it is because it allows me to train my shoulders more frequently. Uh, and the reason is because it's not as overall systemically fatiguing as other pressing variations. So when you're doing the Z press, you're actually cutting off any uh, strength you would get from the hips down below. So it's gonna make you not be able to go as heavy, but still uh, get more volume to the shoulders when we're doing it. Uh, it's very common in the sport of strongman, obviously because it's gotten that recognition of being the Zadrunas press. So a lot of strongman athletes will associate his name to the press and use it. Uh, I just love it because it's, been, like I said, a variation that's gonna allow me to get more volume to the shoulders uh, and just train them harder, more efficiently, and transfer over to my overhead press, which is huge in strongman. All right, guys, exercise number three. And this is funny, I wanna clarify this. In, in strongman, if you ever say overhead press, okay, that could mean any pressing variation, which I found interesting because I remember when I would watch guys do uh, an overhead press and they would be doing push jerks or push pressing, they just call anything overhead just overhead pressing. Okay, or any of the variations of red pressing. So for this exercise, we're gonna be talking about the push press. The push press is by far the most commonly used press in strongman, all right? I kind of brought in my own flair by using the push jerk, and you will see other strongman athletes using that, and it's becoming more and more popular, uh, but for the most part, it's gonna be the push press. So what we wanna make sure we're doing is training the push press to the best of our ability, uh, because it is, one, the most common press uh, in strongman, and two, it's gonna allow us to utilize leg drive, so being able to put up more weight overhead, uh, and three, there is a slight technical aspect to it, okay? So in your training, make sure that if you haven't been using the push press to strengthen those shoulders, you are now uh, from watching this video. So use that push press. When you go to compete, throw it in there and uh, show the, the uh, competitors what's up. All right, number four, my friends. And some people argue this is gonna be upper back. Some people are gonna think this is shoulders. For the sake of this video, we're gonna count this as shoulders, and we're gonna be talking about building those traps with shrugs, all right? I love doing shrugs, whether I'm in a bodybuilding phase, whether I'm in a strength phase. I just think you can never have big enough traps, okay? You want your traps to be so big and your neck to be so big that you need a CPAP. And yes, I have a CPAP. So. 
When we're doing these guys, uh, I just like three to four sets anywhere in that 12 to 20 rep range. I know it's a pretty big range there, but it just depends on what works best for you and depends if you're doing more strength training focus or hypertrophy focus training. Uh, but throwing them in as an accessory is only gonna help uh, with straw man strengthening those traps and that's gonna help carry over to when you're doing any carry events farmer walks, sandbag carries keg carries overhead carries whatever uh, we want to make sure that we have really big strong traps and if you look at any pro straw man out there they have a gnarly set of traps on their back and their shoulders and they just look like absolute freaks so shrug away my friends all right last one that we have to talk about okay is going to be rear delt flies if you've been following this channel for some time or watching the videos when i was doing my bodybuilding cycles you guys know that i'm a big fan of doing rear delt work i think from aesthetic purposes rear delts are going to make the shoulders pop but i think in terms of strength training okay i think they're all often neglected okay? and it's kind of the missing link when it comes to strong shoulders is hitting uh those rear delts a lot of people focus on the anterior delt okay by doing all the pressing that we do and they do a lot of side delt work but they never hit the rear delts so if we can make our shoulders stronger and we can add in just that little extra bit of work that's gonna help increase our overhead press by a couple pounds or uh, our ability to just be better at strongman, right? Uh, throw in some rear delt work. So we like doing rear delt flies and all the variations that you can do with those, whether it's dumbbell, whether it's with a cable machine, whatever you got, get the rear delts as strong as possible and you are for sure gonna see an increase in your performance with your shoulder strength and your overhead press strength when it comes to strongman training. All right guys, so like I said in the beginning of the video, the shoulders are just imperative when it comes to strongman training, okay? We want to have a huge press, we want to look like an absolute freak, and we just want to have huge juicy shoulders, okay? So uh, those are my three reasons, and the last one just didn't make much sense, but it did for you guys watching this video. So, make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you're getting your shoulders just mountains. I want to see boulders on top of shoulders, baby. Uh, and that's all I got. So stay lean, mean, strength machine. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.